The term body composition is used to describe the relative proportions of fat, muscle mass, and bone density in the body. Two people can weight the same but look different because of their body compositions. In this video, we will study body composition through a skinfold assessment. Skinfold assessments are easier to administer to the general population, but it must be carefully conducted in order to record correct data. To be able to calculate body composition correctly through a skinfold assessment, one must measure seven sites with different equipment placed and different skin folds. The triceps are measured with a vertical fold, subscapular measured with a diagonal fold, superiliac measured with a diagonal fold, chest or pectoral, which varies between men and women as shown in the images, measured with a diagonal fold, abdominal measured with a vertical fold, mid axillary measured with a vertical fold, and the thigh is also measured with a vertical fold. In this scenario, the abdominal measurement will be recording using calipers as follows. All measurements must be recorded on the right side of the body. First, mark the site with pen or marker. Pinch above or below the mark, but do not pinch the muscle or the skin only. Place calipers one centimeter away from the thumb and index finger and measure halfway between the crest and the base of the fold. Take the reading within one or two seconds but retest of measurements are not within one to two millimeters from each other. Take the measurements and then use a the mean. Rotate between sites to avoid hurting the patient. Once all sites have been measured and recorded, some math has to be done in order to determine body composition. First, body density has to be calculated. If male, use the following formula. If female, use this formula. Once body density has been calculated, one can use either the Brosick equation or the Siri equation to calculate body fat percentage. And finally, after all the calculations have been done, one can categorize the patient under the following chart and be able to prescribe the correct fitness program.